your money and how it's spent is important to us. It costs around £2 million a day to run council services, from our parks to our libraries and children's centres, to providing care for vulnerable adults and support for rough sleepers. The last two years have been difficult for everyone. We've been focused on keeping people safe and our city's response and recovery to the devastating pandemic. But now we face enormous challenges when it comes to funding all the services, projects and initiatives we need and want for the city. Over the last 11 years, the money we get from central government has reduced by over £100 million. The pandemic, rising costs such as inflation and the need to provide services for growing numbers of marginalised children and adults mean there are huge pressures on dwindling budgets. In 2022-2023, we need to make savings of around £16 million to balance our books and make sure we don't spend more money than we have. This is a legal requirement. Changes to the way we work and the services we deliver are unavoidable, but we're confident in our city and will keep fighting to protect local public services. Around 40% of the money we have comes from specific government grants which are restricted by law to spend on schools, housing benefit payments and public health. Another 17% comes from fees and charges, 19% from council tax, 8% from retained business rates and 10% from government grants. The remaining 6% comes from council housing rents, which can only be used to manage and maintain council housing stock. Earlier this year, central government announced that they'd be giving more money to local councils. But unfortunately, this funding will not cover the gap between the money we'll get and the services we have to and want to provide. We continually look at ways to improve the cost of services, but the only options left to close the remaining gap are increases in council tax, fees and charges, growth in business rates or further cuts to services, which we're working hard to avoid. We're taking action to manage the council's finances and make sure that every penny is spent wisely. We're currently working hard, scrutinising where money can be saved and where investment is needed to help ensure a fairer city with a sustainable future. You can hear from us and find out more about our budget, how your money's spent and what it pays for by visiting brighton-hove.gov.uk forward slash council and democracy forward slash council budget.